So good day again from beautiful Partridge Island and uh, the tide is coming in and it kind of caught us a little off guard. I thought I had it timed out. I was an hour off. So we took our shoes off and we're walking down in there and everything and all of a sudden I need our to shoes say, start to float I away. Need to, I need to tell my part of the story. He's, he's got it down pat. All of a sudden now he's a really proud person from Ontario knowing the tides. About the tides. So all of so a sudden I, 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 me, moi, look down a little bit and all of a sudden I see our, our shoes floating. And I look at him and I said, the shoes are floating. I had my shirt, and he I had said, my sweater on a rock. And he says, and it's, it's oh, underwater. <laughs> well maybe I might be wrong with the time. I thought it started coming in at 5.05 when I guess it came, started to come in at 4.05. Wow. Apparently, the first uh, the first hour of tide went in or out is when it's the strongest. And man, is it ever fast? The rock I had my shirt on. I mean, I picked my shirt up. Within three minutes, the the, the waves are over the but rock. Dave, it's only this, about that high. What's but this still. land called? This part we're on peninsula, or what is it? Well, this is the minus uh, basin. This is minus basin. But you know what? When the tide comes in, guess what? The road it moves well, yeah, with we, the water, and you can't get back to the here. other side. So we, I, we drove I had over. visions me, of me, my car me, being me, on a float. Let me turn this around here. This is where we drove in through. So if, as you can see, One when the mud. tide does come in, that is going to be underwater. <laughs> and, uh, so Dave says, where so, are you going? Well, she freaked out. It's like Dave like, says, like where are you going? Don't be worried. I in. said, are she you kidding? You got that part wrong. The water's coming in, Dave. Otherwise, I shoes would be floating away you know what he doesn't think i'm really bright but i saw the shoes floating so that means guess as, what you were wrong as, as you can see the tide is still um i got the the machine here on top of the, the vehicle so the tide's way off but I, I just went over and i chatted with these 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 kids that are these locals that are over here i hope you can see that they got the setup as a tent and they're having the they got a fire up there and uh they're just so cool kids they're so nice you know, I'm a drunken 50 year old. They thought it was really cool, my bullet hole in the top of the head and I'm bleeding all over the fucking place. But uh, what a day here as the mist rolls in on Partridge Island. You can see it just rolling in there. I mean, it looks like a, it looks like a volcano or something like that. It's just the, the panoramic from here is just unbelievable. I mean, there's the little hut. If you can see that way off in the distance that we stayed there in the shelter of the rain yesterday or a couple days ago when I saw the eagle pick up uh, lobster and bring it over there to feed I mean it's just it's it's and this is a bad weather day and this is also the day that I went to the hospital my head wound anyways so this is supposed Dave to be like a had slow day. A, his, his lobster did it the other night and that's the one that the eagle wanted so there's a big fight on the on the bay here well I didn't know Dave the and the eagle for the, for the lobster and they pick up the, they pick up like uh, leftover stuff and they're not real big killers. They're like a, a scavenger bird. I didn't know that. And uh, that was wild watching him chow down on that. I got within about to about 40 yards of him. And it was like pouring rain. It was like real mutual of Omaha, fucking Audubon Society bullshit. But uh, so I got the blood on the sleeve and the, the head's still bleeding a bit. But apparently no stitches are needed. So that was good. Survivor gear. gear. Yeah, Janet's got the survivor gear. I, think. I don't think we're going to get swamped in here. So we're looking at, uh, we were going to take the locals out for dinner and I was going to grab another lobster, but I don't think that's going to happen tonight. So we're probably looking at another, maybe pizza. So no, food here is just I'm starting to look like a pizza. All right. So, Bye. so good day.